Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I am Naveen Balani. In this week's episode, we will demonstrate how to set up a production topology on Google Cloud. So let's get started. So in this lab, we will be building a production grade environment on Google Cloud. So for the application, we would be deploying a set of microservices as containers on Google Kubernetes cluster. We would use Google endpoints for API management and deploy the Google endpoint container along with a microservices container. Now to build a production grade environment, you need a host of components like uh, virtual private network, endpoint management for microservices, load balancer to balance request over various protocols, configure SSL, health monitoring of services, network configuration like uh, whitelisting of IPs, network address translation for outbound connections, and ensuring logging and security at various points in our application. Now as part of the configuration, we will also create an ingress controller of type load balancer and expose our application microservices over secured HTTP protocol. So all incoming HTTPS requests would go to the load balancer which would direct them to one of the nodes in the Kubernetes cluster. In the node, the request would first go to Google endpoint which would validate the endpoint key and log all endpoint requests and then the respective microservices would be invoked. All the metrics for APIs would be tracked in the Google Endpoint Console and you should be able to see the latency across all the microservices. So before we get started, let's look at the high level steps that we would carry out as part of the lab to build and deploy a microservices application and create the production topology to deploy the microservice application. So it is assumed that you already have a Google project created. So the first step is to create a VPC virtual private cloud to isolate all our network resources for our lab. Next, we go about creating a private instance of a Google Kubernetes cluster. A private cluster basically ensures that all nodes and the master server are isolated from the public internet. This basically ensures that your Kubernetes nodes are protected from the outside traffic. Next we go about creating Cloud NAT. It basically allows instances without external IP addresses and private Google Kubernetes engine clusters to connect to the internet. So as part of NAT configuration, we would configure a few static IPs that you can provide to external services for their IP whitelisting requirements. Next, we would create the microservices application and build the microservice container and push the container to Google Container Registry. Next, we would deploy the endpoint configuration for a microservice application. As mentioned earlier, we are using Google Cloud endpoints for API management to secure, monitor, analyze, and set quotas for our APIs. Next, we would create the workload service and ingress for our Kubernetes application. Once the application is up and running, we will go about testing our microservices application. Now, as a production application requires only trusted IPs to connect to the application and we also need to protect our application from typical web attacks and denial of service we would go about configuring cloud armor for our application once the cloud armor is configured we would again test out the microservices with various cloud armor policies so this concludes the end-to-end -end setup for deploying a microservices application and setting up a production topology on Google Cloud to deploy the application. Next, let's look at each of these steps. Please note 
the rest of the video does not have any voiceover and refer to highlighted text for carrying out the lab instructions.